Welcome back. Well, today I am joined by David Peterella, who is here on behalf of the Laguna Beach Animal Services. Well, David, thank you for joining us today. Hello. So I understand that, you know, the coyotes, they're not afraid. We still have to worry about them. And there's a variety of things that we should be looking out for uh, right now in our community. Can you, can you give me some ideas of what, what you've been seeing lately or what you've been hearing? We've been seeing a, an increase in coyote activity. Um, this is probably partially due to the fact that the uh, drought ended a couple of years ago. And so we're just seeing more wildlife in general. But it's also the time of year for coyotes to, uh, for the families to, to kind of break up and the juveniles to kind of move off on their own. So it's not unusual for us to see increased amounts of coyote activity in October, August, September, October-ish. And I think that's what we're seeing right now. Okay, now it is going to be, um, you know, fairly warm here in the next couple of weeks. And so yeah. is it something that would also draw them out like closer to the water areas? I don't really know. We seem to have, well, anywhere in Laguna Woods, there's going to be a water source because there are sprinklers everywhere, mm -hmm. you know, so it's not like we have a lot of dry spots in Laguna Woods. So there'll be water sources. The creek, uh, Aliso Creek still has water in it. Uh, so it's probably not necessarily having to do with the water. You might see it a little bit more uh, coming in from the wildlands w later on in the season. But right now, like the lakes are all still really full of water. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And then, so the coyotes, you know, they are opportunistic and, and they like to find things, little dogs, yes. and cats, yes. and all sorts of uh, animals. What would you recommend people do? So uh, keep your, in Laguna Woods, people are pretty good about keeping their pets indoors, uh, but like bird feeders, be sure and clean up those because while coyotes will eat those seeds, those attract things that coyotes eat like squirrels and rats and things like that. And wow. so we're just adding to the mix. Uh, it also attracts birds and, and coyotes will go after birds. So anything that would attract, something that would attract a coyote, we, we kind of want to keep under control. Uh, keeping a uh, close eye on our dogs and cats. Uh, we seem to be, for a while, Laguna Woods was pretty good about uh, keeping their cats indoors, but I'm beginning to see more and more cats outside, mm. and that's going to be unattracted, especially if, you know, people, there are some people that take their cats out at a set time every day, which is predictable behavior, and coyotes will take advantage of our predictability. Uh, mm. Most people walk their dogs at the same time every day, feed their dogs at the same time every day. And so every day, you know, the coyote knows that this is what's going on. So we've wow, we got to so not have, be predictable. So they have that much of a sense to know, okay, at about the same time every day, that little yeah. animal is outside. Yeah. You know, when you consider that just about every other predator in North America is on the endangered species list and coyotes are at a level that they can be considered a pest, they're incredibly adaptable. They're probably the most adaptable species we have, including us. Wow. So, you know, they, they learn and they learn well and they do very well and they thrive on when we become complacent. Okay. Now, I know, uh, you know, some people, I think most of the people here in Laguna Woods are pretty aware, but um, I had mentioned to you that we had someone send in a photograph of a, yeah. of a coyote, and I, I don't know how far away it was, but nonetheless, it looked very strong, and it looked like it was just ready to take on the yeah. world. So what are yeah, some... Yeah, so it may be, it may be in one of those juveniles that have just recently, you know, gotten to be an adult and, and, and is, is taking on the world right now. Um, I, I've kind of been running into a lot lately of people who have recently moved to Laguna Woods and ordinarily this time of year we would ordinarily do like some kind of a community meeting at one of the town halls or things like that and we obviously can't right now right. so I you know I, I've been trying to go out and get the word out there for those who aren't familiar with this we don't seem to have as much of a problem with people who have been in Laguna Woods for a long time they're kind of used to this but it seems like we're getting more and more people that this is something that's completely new for them. Well, yes, we have a lot of people that move in here on a regular basis, so I'm assuming yeah. that's the case. So if someone was concerned or they had questions, where would you recommend they go? Uh, they can give us a call. Our number is 949-497-0701, uh, and then just ask for the animal services officer on duty. Okay. Um, and we will come out and talk to you in person. We will talk to you on, on the phone. You know, we try to do, like I said, the community meetings, we try to do this, we try, but if it comes down to, 
talking to people as individuals, then we'll do that too. Okay, and do you guys have a website? Yeah, you can uh, go to coyotes at lagunabeachcity.net. That is um, an email address that you can report coyote incidences to, uh, okay. and we will keep track of them. As far as like a, an actual uh, website, there is the city of Laguna Beach, and then just uh, go to the police department and find animal services. Okay, good. Okay, that would be good. Maybe they'll have some education there that they might be able to brush up on. Okay, perfect. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, we'll talk to you again. All right, bye. And we'll be right back after this.